Hey all, the practitioner here. This is an address to uh, Natasha Nova. Uh, somebody brought to my attention uh, that you were reposting your telekinesis video, uh, you know, telekinesis by Natasha Nova, under a um, under a new video uh, link. But the difference is, though, is that under this one, you actually posted uh, you posted your um, your tags as uh, telekinesis Natasha Nova TKPK. There was no mention of mentalism or magic at anywhere in here. Uh, and, because, and you actually claim that you were demonstrating in the video, you claim you were demonstrating your telekinesis powers. Since this is a repost, I'm going to have to assume that under this one, you have moved from a kind of ambiguous position to explicitly te claiming telekinetic powers. As you are, unfortunately, I'm going to have to expose you on this one. Um, now, I may be open-minded into the existence of possible existence of telekinesis and, uh, you know, and uh, on a micro scale, um, more specifically than on a macro, and, um, you know, and I may possibly be open to ESP. However, Unfortunately, um, in this case, it is clearly a demonstration of a magic trick as opposed to a paranormal power, and so I'm going to have to demonstrate how that is the case. Now, unlike most other... Um, oh, oh, disclaimer before I do this. To my, uh, to my fellow magicians out there who I know are going to be ticked off at me for doing this, I'm sorry, but watch the video I'm responding to on this one. This is, um, you know, uh, watch the original video. I'll post it in the link over here just so this way in case uh, in case I... Uh, uh, Natasha refuses to approve it and read the tags on the video. You will understand why I'm doing this. I am exposing a fraud and um, unfortunately in order to do this uh, there are some people who are still not accepting um, actually the guy who notified me of the video clip um, was refusing to believe that it was uh, that it was not uh, sorry uh, was refusing to believe that it was a trick and not telekinesis. So unfortunately I have to do this demonstration step by step in order to explain to him um, what the effect is. Um, Oh, God, I hate revealing a trick, especially considering I use this professionally, but, you know, because of the fact that I'm going to be having to, well, because of the fact that I'm exposing a, a fraud, what can you do? Anyway, so, here's how this is going to work. You'll notice this pad here. You can see this uh, little fine black thread attached right here. See when I move that, that black thread right there? You can see that against a light background, but I'm going to put said light thread on my hand. That light thread is now virtually invisible. It actually practically is invisible here. But what I can do... Like I said, see it's practically invisible. But here's what's going to happen. We're, get, uh, we're going to take it now. I'll move the camera down. And you guys can see this fork. It's just a standard fork. I'm just going to stick it right through here, much like uh, Natasha did. Now watch the fork closely. When I, when I pull my hands out, here, let me move that fork machine over. When I pull my hands out a little bit farther, just a little bit farther, a little bit farther, see, it started to move. Whoa, do I have telekinetic powers, or do I? Logic, people, logic. A little bit further. Now, allow me to demonstrate the upside down bit of this trick. Taking it. See? It has now gone upside down. Allow me to demonstrate now the spinning tactic. Let me get this balanced properly. Damn it. Come on, spin properly. Sorry, I gotta move the computer a bit farther back because it's falling off the edge of the table. Right now. See? Now it's starting to move just by the uh, spin of my hand. Now watch for the conservation of momentum here. See? It spun just a little bit further and then it caught up against the string. Allow me to demonstrate this again since I'm... Uh... See? Is it spinning? See? It spun and then backwards. And that spun without... And that happened without my hand moving, just like Natasha had her uh, fork spinning with her without her hand moving. Now, the question is, if um, if I am able to uh, if I am able to do that using nothing but a trick, uh, what may you know if I'm using that um, if I'm using that uh, doing nothing but a trick, uh, what do you think is more likely hmm? that uh, there is uh, that she is using an as I, uh, uh, that she is using a huge amount of energy to uh, to move just a fork? Or she's just using a string. You know what would be what would be easier, and what is the more likely of the two explanations? Now, 
Uh, you know, and remember, Occam's razor, people. Now, uh, one other thing. In case you guys think like, oh, well, maybe she wasn't using a string. Like, uh, like you know, uh, like you know, like I didn't see a string. Look at zero to uh, look at zero uh, twenty nine hyphen zero uh, to zero thirty one in that video. She moves her hand back and forth and the fork moving in a forward direction, just like I did when I inserted my uh, just like I did when I inserted the fork, uh, you know, into the loop to uh, do it in my case. Here's another thing. Uh, the controls I will demand from, Nata from uh, uh, sorry, Natasha Nova, if you are in fact a legitimate telekinetic and not in fact a fraud, I ask you to, uh, to I ask you to defend yourself. And here's how you uh, can defend yourself against the uh, charges and the evidence I've presented. What you have to do is as follows: get a plastic fork. Note that I said a plastic fork, um, uh, and I will demonstrate the proof of concept here. Allow me to. This is a secondary way that one can replicate this uh, telekinesis trick without even uh, using a. Uh, and here's all you have to do. See? Look, watch the fork. I move my hands near it. See, it spins of its own accord. How did I do that? Magnet. I believe that's a proof of concept enough. That's why I want a plastic fork. You will take a plastic disposable. Uh, you will take a plastic disposable fork. You will stick it inside a Tupperware bowl or a sealed jar. You know, like one of those uh, a jar, a big jar with a uh, with a with a sealable type lid. You will make sure that lid is closed down, and you will verify that it is in fact pressed and closed down. Then you will proceed to move the fork. If uh, oh, also uh, before you do that, before you start moving the fork, you will wave your arms uh, one into the other like this up to your forearm, going like this widely like with this hand, and then with this hand. The reason for this, is, uh, all the way, sorry, you will do this in wide direction outwards. The reason for doing this uh, in a wide direction outwards is to make sure that you will be able, that any fork which is uh, attached to a string still will move as you, cut, uh, as you cut underneath it. It will go all the way out, and I will be watching closely. Now, if under these and then, uh, and then you will proceed to move the fork. If under these conditions you can still get the plastic fork to move inside the sealed container, then I will believe that you have telekinetic powers and you will have vindicated yourself. But until then, sorry, but it's a trick.